my name is Tina K and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, we're going to be looking at my year in review. Now, every year, Snapchat, Spotify, I don't know about Instagram, Facebook, like they show you what you've accomplished this year. And a lot of times it's like you did those things, but they basically only got the information you were willing to feed them. So they don't really know exactly what you've been up to this year, right? How better to, um, I don't know, completely categorize your accomplishments and failures than to assess your vision board. <laughs> yes. I have a 2020 vision board, I have a 2020 planner, and I have a lot of things I planned on accomplishing in 2020. Yes. See? 2020. Oh, you like my nails? They're yellow. I had lobster earlier. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know how I'm gonna go about this, but we're just gonna start at the top corner up here and work our way down, okay? Okay, new possibilities. I started 2020 not very optimistic. I was in a bad place, mentally, physically. Like, 2020 wasn't... I didn't start off with a bang. You know, you have your New Year's resolution and you start them and you're like, yeah, we're, mm -mm, that wasn't me. So this vision board was actually made on January 27th, I think. And that's because, I don't know, around that time, I'm like, all right, the year already started like crap. What else could go wrong? Let me just like hope for something better by the end of the year and that's what I did. So the new possibilities represents me being open to whatever curveballs life throws at me and also creating some of my own. This is a picture of Appleton Rum Tour. I got it from a Visit Jamaica magazine and I wanted to do that with my friends when I went to Jamaica, it wasn't available. So, I don't know, we did other things and one of the things that I find is a lot of the things didn't go as planned out, but I still accomplished the end result. So like, this was appetent, but I just wanted to spend time with my friends. And I ended up creating a podcast where my friends that have never met can have open conversations like they do know each other, you know, and it's like amazing. It's amazing. Anyways, that's how that went. Up here, you find you have goals. Start here. Humber. Now, I had already taken a semester off from school. My study permit was about to expire. Like, 2020 was supposed to be bad. Based on how I set up myself in 2019. Like, I didn't put anything in place for 2020 to be this awesome. And yeah, I suffered for that. But on the list, you're going to see where I have Humber, the name of my college school, I mean, School of Hospitality, Recreation and Tourism. And the Humber room, that's where we did our work experience. I also worked there. I needed the money and hello. And then University of Guelph, I was thinking about matriculating from a college to the university you know getting some kind of i don't know and i was gonna utilize humber's gym and pool yeah and that's what happened there you know what happened there school was closed march 16 and that was the end of the story rome wasn't built in a day be patient en francais yeah, I was gonna learn French. I can read it, I can understand it, but I can't, I'm not fluent, I can't have a conversation. So I was gonna be patient with myself and practice French more. Yeah, 
So pathway here leads to here. You can make a difference. This leads to this. This was my plans for internship. I wanted to work with the Intercontinental Hotel Group or Old Mill Toronto. Old Mill Toronto is this little boutique hotel. It's a boutique. It, it's tiny and cozy and nice. And I don't know, I thought I would do my internship there. I liked it. I used it to do an assignment and I loved it there. Uh, stay tuned for 2021 to see what internship is supposed to be like. We're supposed to... This was for me to... What's the word? Secure a very fulfilling internship that would somehow matriculate into a full-time job. And you're just going to have to stick around and see what happens with that. Lighting the way. Ideas. You see? I started so many trends this year. And I don't know. Like, it feels good. I'm like, a, I'm on fire. Okay? I'm on fire. And... This, like, basically you can see what's happening here. It says something about information, career, money, sport. Like, I started a YouTube channel, guys. I started a YouTube channel. I helped a lot of people with the information I was giving out. And it helped me also. So, there was that. That came in handy. Yeah. So, beside it... You're gonna see a bank card, BMO, and this here for investing. It's basically, like, I talk about money a lot on this one. Put your money to work. Um, that's it. Oh, there's the credit card there, and those were just reminders. Those are reminders that I made very bad choices in the past when it came to money. Borrowing, lending, which bag to trust to be paying my bills on time. BMO was like my money would be in the bank and it would be on hold. And when the um when the, when the direct withdrawals were being made, I was being charged by the company because they didn't get it, and by BMO like forty five or forty eight dollars every time a transaction didn't go through, and my money is sitting in the bank. So I closed that account and bye this was my and yeah make smarter choices when banking this was my first ever credit card it sent my credit to shit like uh, my credit was done and yeah i paid it off in 2020 yes but it's still having an impact on my credit score for a couple years. So we're going to talk about that in my finance video. I'm going to tell you guys all the stuff I did that you shouldn't do, okay? Good. There goes that. And then over here, you see Herbal Life. Herbal Life is on here twice because I was a user of the products as well as an entrepreneur. And... We will dive into that when I speak about multi-level marketing. But in the meantime, there's a link in a there's a video link below that you guys need to check out when you're thinking about joining things like Forex, um, Herbal Life, you know, selling them teas and like all of those companies. Just check out the link. You know when them friends hit you up and message you. Um, do you want to make some money? Hit me up if you want to learn to make money. Those friends that you don't talk to for years. Yeah. Link in the description below. My girl dissected that with facts. Okay. Check it out. Mm -hmm. And then put your money to work and the investing logo over here. Basically, I was thinking about my future. I was 22. You know, I want a house by 25. I want kids by 26. I want, yeah. I'm like, we got to start investing now. Now, what you need to know is if you're in debt, no matter how much you invest, it doesn't really help. Cool? When you owe people, pay them off and then invest. Because the interest rates on these things that you owe 
they are so out of this world that the the interest you're gaining like it doesn't even add up so i did start investing in a lot of things i did shares i did trading i did quite a bit of stuff and when i saw like some returns and whatnot i i took back my money um after i did a consultation with td yes that's at the back of my board because i was i was very serious about it feeling confident about investing so after i had a one-on-one -on -one with an investor at td um or about investment banking we came to the um the conclusion that I need to pay off everything that I owe or most of what I owe. So when I'm earning, I'm actually earning and not just hiding money that I could have been using to pay the people that I owe. So we're currently paying off our debts and I feel really good about it. Um, in that little segment between, when was it? I think maybe, yeah, like between March and July, like, my credit score it was starting to go up and then it just because you know lost job missing this i'm like oh i'm not missing meals for your company because you don't care about me it's a pandemic people are dying out here and i just let it rip but we're getting there now you know we're getting there all right build create and play i realized since the pandemic actually not when i made the board that all i did was go to school and go to work and then when school was locked and work was closed the hell was i supposed to do you know like i literally didn't have a life and it's a good thing that was on the board because i got a life now <laughs> okay um journeys i got journey stickers i love journeys i bought most of my vans are from them yeah i love journeys so journeys was like live a little you know you get a sticker when you buy a new pair of shoes yeah i did that that was fun that was fun and then this never give up that was smack in the middle of my vision board on january 28th did i know that we would have racial wars in 2020 no but like there you go and i'm like huh thank you you know like i didn't expect it i honestly didn't dang it was so cool it really was anyways start now I am a avid, an avid, an avid. I'm an avid procrastinator. Like, there's so much things that I could accomplish right now if I just started to do it. And this was some level of motivation to start now, you know, quit procrastinating and it helped on some levels i have accomplished a lot more but i still have a far way to go so that will definitely be showing up on my 2021 vision board hmm. i've always wanted to go on a cruise okay i want to go on a cruise but then a pandemic happened and you know what they did everybody on the cruise ship was forced to stay on the cruise ship and yeah i'm still applying for cruise ship jobs please accept my resume i'm coming to work for you i initially entered into hospitality and tourism because i thought i could work and travel on my workplace's dime turns out not really like you have to be at the top of the top of the top some regional stuff to travel on your workplace's dime if you're in restaurant and hotels so i'm currently thinking about airlines in flight positions and onboard positions for ships because i want to travel on somebody else's dime okay that's why the eiffel tower is here and the great wall of china is here they're not representing 
the Eiffel Tower and the Great Wall of China. Although those are pretty cool. They're representing Europe and Asia. Those are still on my bucket list. I had started paying on going to um, South Africa and then I had to take my money back because hi COVID. It was supposed to be after graduation next year, I was gonna go to Cape Town and Johannesburg. So I was going from Toronto to Johannesburg, stay there for a week, go to Cape Town for two weeks and then come back. And yeah, life happened. I was gonna do so much, but whatever. We're gonna get this school done. We're gonna pay off these debts and then, I don't know, you decide. I wanted a car. I wanted a car, but an apartment was more important because I needed peace of mind. So I swapped out the car for the apartment in April, but the car is still, it's still very much live on the board. This was my photo card. It's what they give you if you don't have a driver's license. I got my driver's license. I got my driver's license. I have my G1. I'm supposed to be getting my G2 very soon. I'm getting my G2 very soon. Let's speak it into being. Look how cute I was. You don't want to see my driver's license photo. It is bad. But yeah, Jamaica was on there because who doesn't want to go to Jamaica at least once a year? You know, my trip was booked for May. Didn't happen. I ended up changing my ticket to March and then Andrew closed the borders and I'm like, are you kidding me? I want to come home. But then I stayed and I accomplished a lot more on this board because I stayed. And then I went to visit, I spent my birthday in Jamaica and ha, life was so good. This picture was used in my company's um, leadership manual actually. Cause I mean, look at me, I ooze leadership, you know? I'm awesome. So, that just, it was as motivation. I'm no longer with them. <sighs> Someday I'll give you the full story, but currently we just parted ways. Yes. Life is full of choices. Thank you to Herbal Life. I did eat better, but even after I stopped taking the supplements, they didn't know because me I got go know our video about multi level marketing okay good go to jamaica you know fly swoop very cheap and i did that i i actually did this and i went from hamilton to 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 sangsters international and then i came from sangsters international to pearson's international because they no longer fly out of hamilton i was on the first flight from hamilton i was on one of the last flights from hamilton to jamaica and on the very first flight from sangsters to Mon to, <laughs> to toronto so i did accomplish a lot here and baby girl Kira, next year I'm gonna have to be very more, very much more inclusive of all my girls on my vision board. But I did see Kira this year, and there was Kira, and now Kira and Ojisa are like, they're like inseparable. You can't do one thing for one and not the other. And I don't know, like, they're my babies, you know. Last, but definitely not least. Yeah. Um, I was supposed to give my business my all this year and I didn't. I didn't. 
main reason being I live alone. When I get sick, who gonna take care of me? You know? And like, these people are going out and about and doing whatever. Granted, I did, um, I have been taking clients. I've been taking my day one clients or clients that reach out to me. I haven't really been promoting a lot because I haven't, I just haven't. Um, I have, I have been taking clients. I did have quite a bit of return clients, but I haven't been advertising because I didn't, I wasn't open for business, but trust me, 2021, y'all better sit your ass at home. So this virus, oh God, like guys, just be safe. Just be good. Like now I have like so much more personalization that I want to put into my, into my, what's the word? My 2021 vision board. And it's, a lot of it is dependent on you guys behaving yourselves, you know? Flattening the curve. I have two... They're from cookies, fortune cookies. You are active, full of ideas, and have a generous nature. Others see you as a wise person. Yeah. I do that, don't I? I do. I really do. Mm. Now, if you look at what the letters say in black and yellow, it says, yes, you can. And that's the mentality that I adopted maybe for 80% of the year. Because I did have my down moments. And I don't know. I believed I could and I did. And now my 2020 vision board is in my rear view mirror. Like, I feel so accomplished looking at it. And I feel so much more optimistic knowing that I had accomplished a lot of this. And I didn't just do it like that. I basically did a whole thing on my iPad in notes where I created columns. Like, what's the goal? The goal is to finish school. What are the, the different short-term goals that can get to that? And it's like, all right, pass this, pass this, pass this. What are the tools that you need? I'm going to need this amount of money. I'm going to need this amount of dedication. I'm going to need this amount of time a week. And I basically made like time plans for, for my week. And that lasted up till about February. <laughs> that lasted till about February. But every few months or every few weeks, I'd go back in and I'd look at it. And I'm thinking, okay, you said you wanted to do this. Has this changed? How... Do you work this out? And I, I actually got this idea from my friend, um, Patterson, Hakim, Patti. I, I, I saw him post it on his, I saw him post it on his Snapchat at the end of last year where he posted, all right, these goals are accomplished. These goals are deferred. And, and that was so cool because a lot of us think, oh my God, it's, it's December 31st. It's 11.59. The world's gonna end and i haven't finished what i set out to do and it's it's very very um it's realistic to think about your goals as something that okay i can accomplish this but is it plausible to do this right now um okay i need a new bed this was on my list this is a goal of mine but do I, the money that I have can do something that's going to benefit me now and in the long run. Do I need this bed right now? Does my back hurt? Did like, it's like, how best can you, you know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? So it's basically like you have to re-examine your goals like every few weeks or every step of the way you're looking back like, Okay, I did this, but did it work in my favor? Or is this the right thing? Is this goal even something I want to accomplish? 
Like, looking back at this, I'm like, bro, if I, li if I still lived in Brampton or if I lived in Mississauga in the cul-de-sac, I definitely need a car. I live in Toronto. The, 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 the... The bus is right there, right there, right there. The streetcar is right there. So I can do without this for a while. Not to mention, I don't even have my G2 yet. So who am I kidding? How's that car going to go? Um, you know, so basically it's like stuff like that. Like you have to think about your goals. Like re-examining them from, from different points of view, you know? And I don't know. I'm, I'm super pumped. Uh... I also noticed this this one thing with me um, since doing Vlogmas. I have really gotten a chance to sit back and look at myself on the different days. So you guys are getting a glimpse of me on a day to day as opposed to, OK, this week I'm up to this next week I'm up to that. Like, looking at it like, okay, there's this one day I couldn't bother to take up my phone and film. There's this one day that I felt hella sociable. There's this one day that I'm so pumped I can go outside. Guys, it is a struggle to go outside. I have to will myself to take out the garbage. And it's... Yeah, but some days I'm like, okay, I'm going outside. And I go outside and I go on the road and I go to the store and I... I go everywhere when I get to go outside. So watching it, sitting back and looking at it, I'm learning a lot about myself and you guys are learning a lot about me. And I like that. So if you like what you see and I don't know, you want to hear more, drop those recommendations in the comment section and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.